Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. So first things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it really helped me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so today I want to talk to you about a product range which I have recently purchased. I've not used it a huge amount because I'm going to go into that, but we're going to have a review, we're going to go through my evaluation of it, and the product range we are looking at today is the Hair Lab by Mark Hill Strengthening Range. So this is the foam conditioner, the strengthening shampoo, and the strength and growth tonic. So, okay, so why would you necessarily choose this system? Okay, so it says here, for thickness and for growth, for fine, thinning or delicate hair. So that may mean, for example, if you are genetically uh, suffering from thinning, uh, whether that be female pattern related thinning or female pattern related uh, male hair loss. That could also be where you've got naturally fine textured hair and you've coloured your hair, you've bleached your hair, you've done so much with your hair that it's become fragile, it's very, very delicate and it breaks. Or it could just be that you naturally have very fine, very, very downy, often quite limp flat hair and you're looking to really boost that hair to get great volume and of course to make your style more easier for you to manipulate into the style which you would want to, to achieve or rock on a daily basis. Let's start I think by telling you about each about the products quickly and then we will go into how I found them. Okay so this is the strengthening shampoo so this is for thickness and for growth for fine thinning or delicate hair. It's 100% natural certified organic essential oils, natural caffeine, biotin, Moroccan argan oil and pro-vitamin B5. So caffeine is very often put in uh, shampoos, conditioners and treatment sprays and tonics to help stimulate hair growth, to keep the scalp energized. And I always say with caffeine, if you're going to use something with a caffeine-based shampoo or a caffeine-based product, prevention is better than cure. And have that realistic approach and that sort of understanding um, and that sort of view that don't kind of think that if you've lost all of your hair that you're going to be able to use a caffeine-based product and it's just going to absolutely grow your hair back. It's more for if you're noticing there's change in your hair, there's more hair in your brush, whether you're a man or a woman, you're noticing that your scalp's becoming a little bit more see-through, possibly perhaps your partings becoming a little bit more defined, then step on board after speaking with a medical professional, of course, throughout the problems, because I always say that hair is the inner expression of good health. So if something's out of balance, often you can notice it through your hair. But after you've satisfied that with the doctor or the family GP or the pharmacist, then use products which are aimed for thin or thinning hair. So the shampoo, so it's also got no sulfates, no artificial colours or fragrances, no mineral oils, it's vegan friendly and it's cruelty free. So all those things, fantastic, you've got no nasties in here. Very often sulfates are put in products which are like the foaming agent or a product which is put in a product to give you that real mirrored, super sleek feeling and a conditioner or th those type of products, which just are a little bit sometimes harsh on the scalp. Now, a lot of people say that they're not very good you end of. Now, I think if you have thick hair, then you do need a sulfate based shampoo. Or if you use a lot of product, uh, like myself, if you use a lot of styling products on a daily basis, then sulfates are great because they strip the products out and they leave your hair healthy and balanced. But however, if you use them too often, then that can start stripping the excessive sort of oils from the hair. You can start having a bit of an irritation on your scalp and it just, you lose that balance of what you're trying to keep. So therefore you can have quite a negative effect on your hair and your scalp. And of course, great hair comes from great scalp health. So that's really vitally important. Let's turn a little bit more on the back here. So skincare and salon science combined, formulated by Mark Hill and his laboratory team. Enriched with concentrated levels of pure active ingredients, plant extracts and saturated organic essential oils to create an aroma aromatic salon experience at home. Gently foaming shampoo stimulates and promotes growth while strengthening and building body. Ideal for fine or thinning hair, never overloads, as used in Mark Hill salons. And again, here we've got scientifically proven formulations, 100% natural essential oils, organic Moroccan argan oil, lemon oil, we have got here palmarosa, we've got vitamin B5, natural caffeine, biotin, and then we've got no sulfates, no silicones, no mineral oils, no synthetic colours, no artificial fragrances, no DEAs, no TEAs, which I couldn't actually unfortunately tell you what that means. Um, and this is the fine and thinning hair range. So on here, what it has got and how it, I'm just trying to, I found it the other day when I was looking at, it's got directions of 
how to use it, and I'm very quickly, here we go, it's just one line. So the best results always shampoo twice. I knew I'd seen that there. And I really like that statement because I always, always have, always will shampoo twice. Why? Why would you shampoo your hair twice? Okay, so number one is to wash all the product out of your hair, okay? And then the length of your hair. Number two, for the ingredients in the shampoo, to work on those roots of your hair and your scalp. So number one, to remove the product and to remove the buildup or the oils or the sort of daily aggressors. So that could be pollution, that could be the weather, that could be one of many, many things. So your first shampoo gets rid of all of that. Your second shampoo gets to work on your hair roots and your scalp. So you get the, the benefits from those really great ingredients in your shampoo. Okay, so I know that was a bit detailed, but I'm not going to go into absolutely everything which is on the conditioner because, of course, they are very, very similar. So the, the no sulfates, the no um, fragrances, those type of things. So it's exactly the same. The whole, the whole range mirrors that. So you've got none of those products in here. The conditioner is a strengthening foam conditioner. Now, very often, I know Pantene or Pantene, wherever you are in the world, used to do a foam conditioner, which was for really fine, really thin hair or whether that be natural, whether that be because you are going through something in your life, or whether you've just been gifted with naturally fine or naturally thin hair, which can still be amazing. We so shine away from those words, or we shun away rather from those words. If you've got fine hair, if you've got thin hair, if you've got thinning hair on a woman, on a man, it can still look super cool. It can still look really amazing. It can look glamorous on a woman. It can look super cool on a man too. Just because you've got fine hair, there are benefits. Okay, thicker hair, we are told, is the norm and what people strive for. But to be quite honest with you, fine hair, thinning hair can still look just as amazing and just as glamorous. Okay, so a foam conditioner, what that is, you eliminate the weight in a conditioner. So therefore, you have that lightweight feel, you have that lightweight condition, and that lightweight hydration. That's ultimately what we're trying to get from a foam conditioner. Now, a strengthening foam conditioner is for fine, thinning, or delicate hair. Again, we've gone through what it doesn't include, so that's great. And on the back here, we have got apply to towel, towel dried hair, leave for two minutes, then rinse thoroughly. And we've got here enriched with concentrated levels of pure active ingredients, plant extracts, and, and certified organic essential oils to create an aromatic salon experience at home. Wake plus foaming conditioner pro promotes growth, adding thickness, strength, body, and shine. Restores natural moisture and protein levels without ever overloading. Okay, so that's that one. And then we have got the growth tonic, which is my favorite in the range. And this is a strengthening growth tonic, stimulates growth by 25%. I don't know where they get that from, to be quite honest with you, for fine thinning hair or delicate hair. And this is hair. That sounded a bit strange, didn't it? <laughs> it's 100% natural, certified organic essential oils, natural caffeine, biotin, panox, ginseng, ginger and lemon oil. No artificial colours and fragrance. So again, throughout the whole range, no mineral oils, vegan friendly and cruelty free. This is 50 mils. And then again here we have got skincare and salon uh, science combined, formulated by Mark Hill and his laboratory team. Uh, Leave-in tonic energises the root bulb and stimulates the growth by 25%, builds thickness, texture and strength for thicker, stronger, longer hair. In And then it's got here because it was an asteroid mark by the 25%. It's got in vitro as used in the Mark Hill salon. And I think that is all what we have got here. Okay, so picking up on some of those ingredients, again, we know why caffeine's in products which is aimed for fine or thinning hair. We've covered that. Lemon oil, never ever knew that in a million years at all. I have heard that ginger, and I've had ginger products in the past, which is great for scalp health, getting that stimulation um, of the, the hair bulb, getting that sort of invigoration from the growth. So that's all fantastic. So we know we've got a product range here which is packed with organic ingredients. We know that it's packed with natural caffeine, biotin, the list goes on. But what do they really do for our hair? How does it feel? I'm going to hold on to it for just a little bit more. So price-wise, okay, so I have price-wise for you the hair growth tonic, $11.99, the foaming conditioner, $8.99, and the strengthening shampoo, $8.99. So again, a little bit more of an investment from a product range which is predominantly based on the high street here in the UK. How did I find it? Okay, so my, let's start how you would start in the shower. So the strengthening shampoo. So this stuff has got a smell like licorice. It smells very, very pleasant. It smells very invigorating. The shampoo itself lathers really surprisingly, being it's got no sulfates in, so it's got none of those things which give that boost of that rich sort of lather. 
this is got a rich lather, but without the sulfates in. How does it make my hair feel? Now, I went away and I had a look at the reviews for all of these products, and I've only used it twice. Okay, twice, because unfortunately, I am really disappointed. The tonic, I'm going to leave that for a moment because I love that tonic. The shampoo and the conditioner, the shampoo lathers very nicely. It cleanses my hair, but I find as it cleanses my hair, and bearing in mind, this is for fine, thinning or delicate hair. Now, my hair is fine, but I've got a lot of it. It is delicate in places, and I've got highlighted hair, don't forget. So it's delicate all round. But I just find that the shampoo was anything but for delicate. I really found that it was really quite drying on my hair. It kind of knotted my hair up. Um, but I kind of said to myself, do you know what? Let's just hold on a moment. Let's hold fire on it for a moment. And let's just wait and see after we use the conditioner. Um, did I think it made my hair feel stronger? No. Unfortunately, I found that it made my hair feel quite vulnerable. Um, it actually had me quite worried because I felt my hair sort of knotting up. Now, my hair is down to my chin actually now. And it just sort of lathered into a like a ball and it wasn't particularly very great. So unfortunately, I don't really have too much to say about the shampoo, which is positive, and I'm really, really sorry about that, because I so wanted to love this, because it, it looks really, really cool, it looks very sciencey, it looks very high-end, and those are the type of products which I really enjoy using, but this is such a huge sort of thing to say that actually, it just goes to show that sometimes if you pay a lot for a hair product, it does not matter. It can be just as good for your hair, it can be just as bad for your hair. Whereas 99p product here in the UK can be absolutely fantastic for your hair. So it really doesn't necessarily depend on how much you pay for your hair care products. Now, that's not to say that that's the same right across the board. Sometimes you can pay the earth for a product and it can be absolutely amazing for your hair and you can enjoy thick, luscious body texture in women's hair and real sharp, real cool looks in men's hair. But sometimes you can get that just as well with a cheap product too. So never rule out a product just because of its cost. So this really does tell me that. So the shampoo, I'm afraid, it's got an amazing smell. I don't like how it made my hair feel. It made my hair feel really vulnerable. It made my hair feel really, really weak. It didn't give my hair texture. It didn't give my hair um, any fullness. It made my hair feel quite frizzy. And in fact, actually, it made my hair feel like you'd held a match to it. It really wasn't very nice at all. I've had a look online. There are some quite mediocre reviews. There are some really good reviews. I have no idea where they have come from because if they're using the same products which I've used, I really don't know how it made their hair feel nice, smooth, silky. Because just wow, they're absolutely astonishing. Um, so I really wanted to love this shampoo and I don't. And to be quite honest with you, I'm going to be getting rid of it because I don't like it. In fact, I would go as far as saying I would not recommend it for delicate and fine hair. I think if you're putting it on here saying that it's fine, thinning or delicate hair, I just think kind of how dare you type thing. There could be people in really vulnerable situations with very little hair, which can still look amazing, can still look really cool, really glamorous and really show stopping. But yet you're selling a product range which is for delicate hair and actually if it would do to their hair like what it done to mine, could be absolutely devastating. It really, really could. So I'll be glad to see the back of that. I really, really will. Now the foam conditioner, I actually thought, okay, that's kind of hold your horses type thing. Let's wait and see. I'm sure this is going to be my savior. I'm sure it's going to be really, really cool. So this is the pump action, okay, of the foam conditioner. Um, it's quite disappointing because it, it actually, when you press the pump, it comes out quite Oh, quite sort of deflated, quite sort of lank. Um, you've got to use quite a bit of it to even cover the hair. It's not it's not particularly great, so I do feel quite disappointed. Um, it's got an okay smell. It's kind of licorice. You can smell like kind of lemon in here as well. So the same as the shampoo. Um, but the conditioner for me does anything but does not condition my hair at all. And again, when I looked at the reviews and I'd not even been able to get a comb through my hair when I used this. I left it in for two minutes and it felt rough as anything and it felt like rope. My hair felt really, really rough. So actually what I had to do to get any sense was use a different conditioner, um, my go-to sort of conditioner to even get any sort of strength or vitality back. It made my hair feel as though it was going to completely break off and I was actually really worried that my hair was going to break off because my hair is quite delicate in places. 
and it's not the thickest hair, I've got fine hair, but I've got quite a bit of it, but I need to be careful of it. This stuff just kind of chewed my hair up like chewing gum. Um, it really did feel quite rough, and actually, um, I don't know where they get the good reviews from, because, in my opinion, this should not have a fine, thinning, or delicate hair at all on here. Um, I don't know where that comes from. Somebody, absolutely, if you've used it and you had a fantastic experience from it, then please let me know, and I'm only so pleased that you have had a really good experience, but for me, not at all, and I would not be buying this again, and I will not be using this again, unfortunately. Let's end on a bit of a lighter note and much more of a positive note. The product which I do love from the range is the Strength and Growth Tonic. Now, this is really sad for me because I don't very rarely do I find a product which I absolutely detest and don't like. And the shampoo and the conditioner, to shame them both, horrendous. Do not like them, would not buy them again, and certainly not for fine thinning, delicate coloured hair or anything like that at all. Really don't like them, wouldn't recommend them to anyone. Really sorry about that. I wanted to love these, but no. Not for me at all. Not for me. Don't like it at all. However, the strength and the growth tonic, I absolutely love. And I find that it gives my hair vitality. It gives my hair strength. And it really does make my hair feel really kind of awakened. It's got a really nice licorice smell. Um, you do get some quite natural sort of herby sort of essences in here. Um, and that's really, really nice. It's a pleasure to use. It's soothing. It's cooling on the scalp. The only kind of slight drawback, if you use too much, it can make the roots of your hair feel quite um, like you've got a product a little bit greasy, so just be quite cautious on that. But I love the product, and I actually started using this before because I absolutely love using growth tonics and things like that for my hair. Um, I always use it in my temples and sort of these areas in the front here and just behind, um, and then sort of in the back of my hair. Sort of typical areas where a man may get a little bit thinner as he develops um, in age. So for me, I really like to use any products which are for prevention, better than cure, so for keeping hair thicker, fuller. It says here that it stimulates growth, fantastic, and for fine hair. I've got fine hair, as I say, I've got quite a lot of it, but I love a product which really gets to work on keeping my hair and keeping it as thick and as full as possible. And this I absolutely love, and this is a product which I'd recommend to women and to men. If you're concerned with your hair, then absolutely give this one a try. It's $8.99. Here in Boots in the UK, where I buy a lot of my products it's three for two at the moment so if you wanted to try that you could get three of these and only pay for the price of two which is fantastic um, and that's something which I'm sort of playing with in my own head of what I might do because I absolutely love this product so it's not all negative um, does this product help with growth I couldn't tell you I haven't used it long enough to be quite honest with you it does make my hair feel quite revitalized quite sort of strong quite full so from that aspect yes I would really recommend this and I just really love how it makes my hair feel and how um the sort of, and I'm talking about the root lift here and the root volume. It really does make my hair feel really, really nice. I've got a little bit of an area across in my hairline, which has got so much thicker from um, different products which I've used, which I've reviewed on my channel, and which I use in and out of this as well. But this kind of just gives me that ultimate boost, which I really look for in a product. And it really does ultimately give me that sort of tonic, what I'm looking for to really help and boost the health and vitality of my hair roots. So this stuff I love, and I'm really, really glad and pleased that we can end on a really good high note on this one. So this is the only product I would recommend from the strengthening range. Um, the other two, ugh, don't want to really even talk about. So I really wouldn't recommend them for delicate or final thinning hair. But for the tight, I absolutely would. Okay, so thank you very much indeed for sharing this with me. I apologise, I can't really say too much positive about the strengthening shampoo and the foaming conditioner. But I am honest on my channel. I am all about integrity, honesty. And if I find a product which I absolutely love, then I will shout about it. If I find a product which is absolutely no, then I'm going to tell you about it. Because... Ultimately, if I was here and I was just lying, then what would be the point of that? It's a real interest of mine. I absolutely love it. I really do hope that you have taken something from this product. I've absolutely loved doing it. I love reviewing products and I love the comments and things I receive. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much for that. And until next time, we will see you then. Best wishes to you and take care. Did I just say best? Or best? <laughs> best wishes to you and take great care. We'll be seeing you next time. Bye for now.